Hi, my name is Mike. I'm an adventure and a dad. Today we've got my dad's uh, RZR out at the place called Prison Hill near Carson City, Nevada. And uh, just a little um, change of pace for you guys this week. Maybe I'll put this out on Wednesday. Um, just wanted to show you what this little razor can do. I mean, it kind of surprised me um, quite a bit. It's super fun when you're going fast. It's really fun in two-wheel drive, actually. And then we just did a little bit of rock crawling here on the rocks at Prison Hill. And uh, one of the things that we just did that, you, that you'll see, um, Sean actually did in the power wagon. And um, this thing, this thing cruised it pretty well. So um, whatever, if you've never driven one of these things, they're actually pretty fun. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a good week. And I'll uh, see you back for our regular video on Saturday. Happy trails, guys. All right, so this is my dad's new Polaris RZR. It's a four-seater. Um, I don't actually know many other details on it than that. Um, it says XP on the side, and it says 1,000 on the side. So if that means something to you, then great. It's really fun. It's really fast. Here we are at uh, Prison Hill outside of Carson City, Nevada. we got the boys with us, of course. Um, this thing is really, really fun to drive, and um, might have just got this. So he's really kind of just testing out what it can do. Um, uh, rock crawling. This is the first time we've taken it rock crawling, um, and so Prison Hill is basically the closest place we can uh, go to uh, our house in Reno to get this kind of action, and it's just sort of eating this stuff up, and it's pretty easy for it so far. Here you can see how the front end really flexes um, to keep the vehicle level through all this stuff. I mean, it does it does lift those wheels a lot. Um, I think that's largely because uh, the, while the front does not have a sway bar, the rear does have a sway bar, and um, I think that's a really good thing when you're driving this thing super fast uh, down some of these dirt roads and taking corners. That sway bar probably keeps you really safe, but when you're rock crawling, um, it might be nice to have that disconnect or be able to disconnect it. Now this thing's got great visibility. You can just look right over the hood and see exactly where you're going. Uh, but like I said, it's it's really new to uh, to him, so he's taking it easy and trying to be real careful, which I know is totally not the way you should go with stuff like this. I mean, he's got a full roll cage. Let's get after it. Um, but it is really weird to drive. You know the way the transmission works. There's no clutch. Um, it's just high and low gears, so it's really weird coming from a regular vehicle. Um, particularly for me, coming from a regular uh, manual transmission vehicle, it's, it really drives kind of funny. As you can see, it really doesn't uh, affect things that much. It still gets after it. Now he's coming up um, this sort of, this was this optional section that Sean did in the, oh, in the power wagon uh, last year when we were here. And you can see video of that, of course, on the channel. Um, boom, see there, it takes a big hit, but it doesn't take any damage. The whole underside of this thing is really well protected. Yeah, and I think just because of the size of this thing, it just, it just, you know, skates right up this stuff. We were both really surprised how well it performs. I mean, the thing has a, a really long wheelbase. Um, so I assumed that um, it would just get hung up on everything, but it is just powering through all this stuff. I think, again, it's the size and the, the amount of travel in that suspension. Of course, these tires, even though they're not very big, just get tons of traction. Here he's coming up through this little tight little canyon here um, to uh, an optional obstacle. And I thought pretty sure he could do it, so I was waving him on. This is uh, Lightning Dragon, of course, filming this. And um, so what do you see where he's headed? A solid wall of granite. Now obviously, you know, pro rock crawlers and, and even built rigs will get up this. Um, I don't know how easy or hard it is. I know Sean and I were looking at it, but we didn't end up doing it last year. He'll probably want to do it now, though. But this RZR just sort of creeps right up this. You know, my dad's taking it really easy, really cautious, doesn't want to roll it or hurt anything or break anything. Yeah, and he, he had a lot of wheel lift there, and so he backed off of it. The transmission's really imprecise, so it'd be very difficult to like slam it in reverse and hit the gas to avoid rolling. 
um, unless you were just really good. As a rock crawler, this thing works really well. It's it's super capable. So I really had to talk him into this obstacle. There's, uh, it was at the top of a little hill right by the main dirt lot parking area at or staging area at Prison Hill. He wasn't sure about it. It was super loose at the bottom, and it dropped off to to driver's side and had a wall to the passenger side. Um, so he takes a couple stabs at it and he's pretty conservative about it. Go. Yeah, before he bought this thing, I was pretty adamant that he go to YouTube and search UTV fail. If you do that, you'll find that most of the times that people screw up their RZRs is a situation exactly like this. Um, but they are throttling down and going hard. And I think just like with uh, regular 4x4s, taking it slow and being cautious and careful, you'll be able to get um, get through just, just a lot more than you think you can and a lot easier as well without breaking anything. So you can see he keeps failing here because he takes his foot off the gas right at the end. Um, but like you know, he's he's not familiar with the vehicle, so I think he's totally doing the right thing. I don't think you want to be that all over there. I think that angle coming at it that way is the way to go. It's less tippy. Here he is with a little more momentum and staying on the throttle, and he just comes right up it pretty much no problem at all. I think once you're familiar with the capability of these vehicles, you can do quite a bit. So let me know what you think of this kind of video. Uh, like I said, we just got this thing, so we haven't shot any video with it in the past, which is why you've never seen any of this video from us in the past. Uh, if you never want to see this again, let me know. If you'd like to see more, let me know. If you are in the northern Nevada area and you want to go ripping around oh, on an RZR with us and my dad, also let me know and we'll uh, make it happen. Thanks for watching everybody. Happy trails.